Surprise, surprise. This is my surprise underdog seller for the month. I found this for half price at a thrift store, two thrift stores actually, and they were totally overlooked. Do you know what it is? Can you guess? Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Denise. I'm a vintage reseller and in the description below I'll leave the links to my Etsy store and also my eBay store and you can check that out if you're so inclined. Um, as a vintage reseller we often overestimate some items, probably the ones that we like the most, and then we will also underestimate many items like this month's underdog seller. Wow, totally caught me off guard but I'm gonna take it. On a recent shopping trip, I headed for a Salvation Army thrift store about 10 miles from me. It was a super rainy day, so driving was a little bit slow, but I headed on in, and folks, I love this particular store because it's pretty big, and I almost always find something here. About a half hour, maybe to an hour uh, into this, I had a couple of things in my basket. I found this vintage corning Forever Yours 1990 porcelain teapot and teacups, and they were in great condition. The yellow tags were half off, so I only paid $2.99 for this. But listen up, folks. Here's the twist. So this is a Corningware teapot and from the 70s, and it comes with the cups and just a little bit of you know, inside pool here on how the Salvation Armies work. They split up inventory here in, in our area, goes to a central place, um, a central warehouse, and then they send it all out to the different uh, Salvation Armies. And I have seen this here at this Salvation Army. It comes with the teacups. And at the other one, I have seen the sugar and the creamer. So when we leave here today to make the set, I'm going to go over to the other one in another town called Winsocket and see if we can put this all together. So I hopped back in my truck and headed to the other Salvation Army store, which actually happens to be in my hometown. I was hoping those other pieces I mentioned were still there. Now there were a lot of people in the store that day and I really didn't think those pieces could possibly still be there, but there they were and the sign said they were half off. Bonus. However, my memory of what was there was a little bit off. There was actually another teapot and a sugar with the spoon. So, pardon the pun, I scooped them up. So in total, I came away with two teapots, two teacups and a sugar with the spoon, all in excellent condition. Now, if you turn the teapot over, you can see it was manufactured in 1990. Uh, with a license from Corning to the Robinson Design Group. All right, I know this is what you've been waiting for. Let's get to the money piece of this story and break things down. I divided these purchases into two separate listings. The single teapot went into one listing and the teapot, cups, and sugar as a combo went into another listing. The single teapot, which I paid $3 for, sold first for $39.50 sold just within a couple of days. So my profit on that was $36.50, which is a 1,200% profit. I listed the other items as a group. You can see here the teapot, two cups, and the sugar in the original spoon. I listed it for $73, and a buyer in Seoul, South Korea, bought that. They actually paid $46 to have it shipped. For those pieces, I paid $6, so that's a 1,100% profit. Okay, so I guess the moral of the story is that anything these days with corning or corning wear on it uh, is a seller and it's popular globally, worldwide. And I just think that that is really fascinating. American brands are still very popular and these retired patterns are really very much sought after. So before I go, I thought I would let you know what I'm working on and I'm gonna be putting together another video. I recently went to Connecticut, which was a long drive, and I got these gorgeous, this is the shabby sheet, 
hydrangea pattern. That's a king duvet. Awesome. And then this is uh, another shabby chic king uh, full sheet. And oh my gosh, of course, Ralph Lauren. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So there's so much more in this box that I ended up getting. And yes, I did, I did pay what some people might think was too much if you don't understand the aftermarket for retired and um, retired uh, bedding, certain bedding, a lot of it actually. Okay, so watch for this video. I'll tell you what I paid for that and what I've listed those for and what have sold. Um, but for now, uh, the moral of the story, anything corning or corning wear is, uh, is pretty much a sure thing. So that's it for now, folks, and happy hunting.